outside the Institute for Contemporary Art. It's Thursday afternoon. And this is a gorgeous old building. Apparently it used to be a school. And inside there, I went in on uh, Saturday and saw the exhibits. Right in there, there's this huge courtyard, which is pretty much typical of all Spanish, gorgeous, these huge, gorgeous Spanish buildings, They're, which I don't, I guess they pulled out of the uh, Romans. Um, I know when I learned Latin, you always had a courtyard inside the building, which was private and cool. But the reason I'm showing this is, first of all, this is um, Avenue Ponce de Leon. Right in the corner there, there's the uh, Caribbean Institute for Forensic Science. You see all kinds of young people going in there and learning how to uh, figure out who done it. And down there too, there's the Episcopal Cathedral. And a little further on is the Puerto Rican Art Museum which is absolutely gorgeous. But really why I am showing this here is because I'm walking towards Walmart. So you have these gorgeous old buildings here with these lovely old trees. So look at those windows. Look at the detail over the windows and even, even on the wall. Everything is just beautiful. Yeah, look at those look at those windows with the shutters. They don't just jam everything anything on, they just make everything so beautiful. I don't know what the school was, who was there, but um, it seems to me like it might have been a girls' school. We've had um, a number of calamities in Puerto Rico, hurricanes, defaults, all kinds of things. And uh, maybe that was the victim of that. Where yeah, Hamilton's coming here. You too can watch Hamilton this week. And um, you get a really good, you get a really good seat if you pay $250. Um, Puerto Rico has the minimum wage, the same as the federal minimum wage, which is $7.32, 30 cents an hour. And um, everything's twice as expensive. So, Hamilton is coming for the rich people and the tourists who couldn't get tickets in New York. Now this is an interesting building too. I don't know anything about it, Labra, but it's, it's gorgeous. And then down here we have Walmart. And that's really why I'm making the, the video because I wanted to show Walmart as it looks today. I found a um, picture in the art museum that was painted as Walmart was being built in 2013 and it looked like a hellscape. And, um, I don't know what, what was pulled down in order to build Walmart, but you always need quite a lot of space, especially this is, this is called a super center. So you can buy carrots and you can buy washing machines and everything in the middle. So we're walking out of Santose. And um, some of these buildings don't look too great. That street there, Manuel Junkers. Fernandez Junkers. Um, on the left, you keep going, there's the Department of Agriculture and a gorgeous old Spanish building. And further down, there's my favorite hardware store. So there are businesses, um, active businesses, do, businesses doing well and interspersed with uh, things that look pretty awful. Look at this. Oh, the graffiti is kind of nice. Huh. And 
opposite Walmart is Walgreen. And Puerto Rico has more Walgreens and Walmarts per kilometre than any state in the Union. Puerto Rico is not a state, it's a territory. But um, that's it. And that, of course, is because, here we are. I wonder, I have not taken a picture of this before. These gorgeous murals are everywhere. It's very interesting. Puerto Rico has a way of making things look beautiful. Now, they have not succeeded with Walmart, though. I mean, this is pretty hideous. Yeah. I'm going to cross the road here so you can see it from the other side. They don't trust people here. Um, you can't get into all walk in through that door because they're worried about people stealing things. You have to go around. Walmart has a lot of things behind locks, like toiletries. Okay. There we go. In 24 hours, and there is Walmart. Now you can find the, the painting that uh, Rogelio Bayers did in 2013. It's not hard to find, and um, yeah, how many small businesses did they close down to build this one? Okay. Well, I'm going in there now to buy dirt. How about that? Susanna J. Dodgson, June 22nd, 2023.